A year ago, I barely used Claude. Now I use it for over half of my AI workloads. When I compare it to tools like ChatGPT, Grok, DeepSeek, and Google Gemini, there are three specific features that make it much better than those alternatives. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know to use Claude like a pro. Let's get into it. Let's go into settings. Claude has its own version of ChatGPT custom instructions, which is this section here, where it asks you what are the personal things you would like and what preferences you have. My recommendation is to leave this section blank because their ex existing instructions are really good and there are other places where we'll add more specific information. Then they have these three toggles. Artifacts we should leave on because that's one of the most powerful features. We should turn off Claude example prompts because those just get in the way and CSV upload is really useful. So keep that on. The final section you'll see in the settings is connected accounts. I recommend connecting things. It's usually just one click. You can see here I have connected my Google Drive because Claude does a much better job at long context than things like ChatGPT and Grok. So you can really give it a large Google Drive file. So I find that hookup useful and we'll use it later. Let's start with feature number one, artifacts. We'll dive away, dive in with an example. So I'm gonna paste these meeting notes that I took, and then I'm gonna ask it to write the email. So I ask it to write a concise follow-up. You can see that Claude has pulled up an artifacts window and is drafting the email response. If I want to edit it, for instance, this email is quite long, I can say that email is quite long. Please make it much shorter. Claude will go ahead and do that. And you can see it's taken what was really long and turned it a lot shorter, and it's put it into this artifacts window. This artifacts window gives us a couple benefits. First, I can just download it with one click into a text file. You can also copy it really easily, and it's very easy to just copy this information. As you can see, it updated the old version of the artifact that it had presented before. So you can always trace back, but it's now much easier to find files without having to search through a long chat history. You can also use artifacts to generate code and diagrams and even apps inside an artifact window. Here I'm going to ask it to create a prototype for us. You can see that as Claude is working in the artifacts window, it actually shows you the code and then over time, this will turn into the working front end page that we asked for. Okay, so you can see that we have a working clickable website which has space holders, has created copy, and so it can go from zero to one really quickly. The next feature you need to know in Claude is native screenshots. So you can click this little button here and you can choose a tab or whatever window you want and it'll take that screenshot and then you can ask it to do something. So in this case, I have a data table, so I can ask it to create a chart. So here in the artifacts window, you can see that Claude has generated that chart for me using the screenshot of the data table, and it's even included key insights. That's one of the great things about Claude, is it's not just going to stop at simple answers, it's actually going to go above and beyond. What's really cool is you can go behind this and see the code, and you can see it's created a full web page in order to generate the insights like this. The next feature you need to know in Claude is writing styles. Most people only know about writing styles because they hit usage limits and it says we're defaulting to concise mode. But if you click here, there's not just concise mode, there's normal, explanatory, and I've created my own product storyteller, or you can go in and create your own style by hitting create custom style and you can add in writing examples or other information. What I found really helpful is to add in what your product you're working on, what your job role is, adding in information about what an email you write looks like, what a Slack message you write looks like, what several documents look like. That all comes together into your style. So the example from normal is okay, but the example from product storyteller is even better. 
And so my default pattern is if I'm doing something that requires a lot of context, I might use a style that has that context available. Otherwise, I'll default to normal because normal is pretty good for 95% of tasks. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features in Claude projects. You can create projects for any specific type of work that you're doing. So here in this example, I'm going to create a project for an upcoming Fortnite season that I'm working on where we want to create a new season of the game. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add in the PRD that I've written. So I can add in the PRD and that's use 2% of my context limit. Then I can also add in my meeting note. Once that project level context is established, now I can have separate chats for each thing I want to do within Claude. This is so important because if you talk about three different documents in one chat, the AI is going to get confused. So if I want to write a GTM brief to my team, and include an example brief that I had done before, I can do that. Projects is so powerful because you get to maintain this project level context, and then you can have chat specific context. So if I wanna write a specific document like a GTM doc, I can paste in an example of an old GTM doc and ask it to do that in one chat. This way, it won't get confused if I ask it questions to do another document. Instead, I'll go up here and I'll create another chat for that. So for instance, let's say I want to create new onboarding flows. Then I could ask it to do that with its design principles. As you can see, it's not getting confused about the context that we had from the GTM brief. It's able to stick with this specific chat level context for this task. And this is the benefit of projects. A final thing I might want to do is write an exec status update based on the meeting up notes. So I could ask it to do that as well. As always, if I want to make it shorter or I want to change it, I could try again. This example seemed a bit long, so what I might do is actually try this same prompt again. If you don't like the writing style, you can also try to do the normal one. What I find is that if you're going to have two sets of context, like the context that you had in the project, and then the context here, and the context in your style, you get clash. So sometimes you just want to go with normal. You can see this example did a much better job of just sticking to the context. So don't overwhelm Claude with context either and use projects to organize the amount of context you are giving. Here I have a really long and dense competitive analysis report with a lot of information. So I can actually feed that into Claude to make it a lot faster to analyze. So I can add that competitive analysis report and ask it to create an interactive dashboard. And wow, look at that. I have a fully interactive dashboard that summarized a lot of what we saw. We can take this further and say, create a simple infographic summarizing the result. Now it's created a really good infographic super quickly that I can just use and plop in. If you're a content creator, this is gold because infographics do really well on social media. Now let's talk about data visualization. Earlier, we looked at setup, aha, and habit rates over time, and it was able to chart it. But you might be saying, Akash, I work with unstructured, messy data. So here I have some messy transaction data. Claude can work with that too. Let's take a look. So to attach this CSV, you go to the attach button, and then you drop in a prompt like this. 
This makes use of Claude's analysis feature, which we had turned on in the settings. So it first analyzed, and now it's creating a visualization. Wow, look at that. So it's summarized the transactions, it's charted them, it's showed you them over time, and it's given you all of this information on unstructured data that we didn't even know much about. That's the power of Claude. According to the data, about 22% of people are using ChatGPT, but only 2% of people are using Claude. I hope this encourages to you to go use Claude. Claude just released a new model, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is way better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet on many benchmarks. And it also released extended thinking. So it's incredibly good time to use Claude. Claude's 2024 revenue at its parent company, Anthropic, was $1 billion. There's a good reason for that. Consider signing up for the paid plan or just use the free one and enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check out my newsletter. I'm going to do a bunch more AI tutorials soon.